Hello everyone and welcome to Stitching Ain't Easy. My name is Ashley. Thank you guys so very much for joining me today. Okay, so new series alert. Yay. <laughs> um, today is the very first episode of, uh, I think I'm going to call it Watch and Stitch Inspired. But I'm not sure if that makes sense or not. So let me know <laughs> if you would, if that makes sense in the slightest bit. But that's my plan. Um, that's what it'll say in the title of this one, but that may not be the name of this series from here on out. I am not knowing. Um, you'll probably hear kiddos in the kitchen. Um, <laughs> but anywho. So yes. Um, the plan was, I kind of, well, I kind of got inspired, even, from Movie and Stitch that we did last year, um, that Terry from Your Enjoy podcast, and Ella from No Catchy Name, and a few other ladies all started, and then several of us joined in on the fun. Um, I'm still working on that blanket, my goal by the end of March is to finish that blanket, everybody cross your fingers, because today is the 22nd, so. Okay, um, anyway, don't have long, we'll see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so I was kind of inspired by that whole venture, right? Like you watch something, kind of take colors from it, and make something. Um, I'm sure as you guys know, there are a lot of different shows and movies that have crochet or knit items, but once again, I don't knit, but lots of yarny goodies in the background. Um, lots of shows have things like that. Like one, well, really iconic one is the show Roseanne and the blanket on the back of the couch. Um, you know, there are like different sweaters and things people wear, blankets, an abundance of things depending on what you watch. So, I thought I would watch, like as I was watching stuff, you know, I started to like be inspired. So there goes like the watch and stitch inspired. I don't know. I'm not sure if that'll stick, but anyway, so that's what I went with at first. Um, that's what I was thinking, you know, and like I said, then the name came later, but so my plan is to make this, I don't know how often it'll be kind of like the rest of them, like real sporadic. I don't know. I'm not sure. Um, but I'm going to watch something make something from that whatever movie or television show and bring it to you kind of I think maybe do like a little synopsis of like the movie or whatever it is just kind of because that's part of it all still that one for movie and stitch also and um but yeah I'll show you guys the blanket so or all well, the project it's not always going to be a blanket one time I get to make a robe we're stoked about that. I don't really make the robe. It's like the patches for the robe. I'm excited because I will definitely wear said robe afterwards. So I'm very excited. It's a useful item. Plus it's really cool. Um, oh, I want to tell you guys, but I'm not going to. <laughs> so we're right. keeping secrets. Uh -uh. So, okay. So our movie for today that... Um, <clears throat> I thought would be, well, honestly it's the one that kind of, other than obviously the iconic Roseanne blanket, it's the one that kind of originated this idea for me, um, and it is a house with a clock in its walls. Um, I don't know if y'all have seen that movie, if not, may I suggest, um, let's see, I'll look real quick, see where it's, where you can watch it. It says it's on Amazon, Amazon Prime, and it's on Showtime. <coughs> I'm not sure if it's on Amazon Prime, that's what it says. We have, we honestly are old school, we have the DVD, but, so, okay. <coughs> Excuse me, my goodness gracious. So, the house with a clock in its walls is a 2018 American fantasy com comedy film directed by Eli Roth based on the 1970 novel of the same name by John Bell Ayers. Um, it stars Jack Black, 
Kate Blanchett, I mean, come on, um, and a few other people, Owen Verocco, I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I don't, those are the ones that I knew, <laughs> just meant because, Chuck Black, Kate Blanchett, can't go wrong, um, okay, so, so I'll read a little bit about it, maybe a couple fun facts, just, you know, like, for fun or whatever, and I'll show you guys my project and talk about it, and, my list keeps growing because I've, since I've started doing this, I notice more random crochet items in the background of things. I used to notice them, but I feel like, I don't remember what that word is. I know what it is, but I can't think of it right now, but like whenever you like, say you're gonna buy a car, you're gonna buy a Jeep or something, and then all of a sudden you see Jeeps everywhere, like that, that word. But anyway, it's very much of that. It's like all of a sudden, there are a lot more crochet things in movies and such than I thought. There's even something in Ozark, the show Ozark, so. Yeah, I'm gonna make that too. Okay. <laughs> there, I have a, several really fun ones. I'm really excited about this series. If I can get it together and show you guys. Okay. So, the storyline <clears throat> is Louis Barnevelt, after losing his parents, is sent to Michigan to live with his uncle Jonathan. He discovers his uncle is a warlock, or a boy witch, if you've seen the show, um, as he enters a world of magic and sorcery. But this power is not limited to good people. Lewis learns of Isaac Izzard, an evil wizard who constructed constructed a magical clock with black magic, and as long as it exists, it will keep ticking, counting down to doomsday. He died before he could finish the clock, but he hid the clock in the walls of his house where his uncle Jonathan, aka Jack Black, now lives. Now Lewis and Jonathan must find the clock before it finishes its countdown to end the world. Are you intrigued? Mm, you should be. You should be. The house click or clicks. The house ticks. Think about that. That would be a little bit. It's a little Captain Hook and the crocodile. I don't know. <laughs> Might get a little, a little too much. Okay. <clears throat> So, um, I guess I could tell you what it's rated. I didn't even mention that, did I? That's probably important. It is... I'm not sure. It's like looking for... Yardage and stuff on yarn. You can't figure it out. Okay, so like I mentioned before, 2018. It's PG. It's an hour and 45 minutes long. So if you have an hour and 45 minutes to kill, may I suggest it? Because it's a good one. Look, we can show people. I can't show a whole lot of IMPD because I'm not really sure that how it works, but Jack Black, Kate Blanchett, and the Owen Baracco kid, who I'm pretty sure went on to be the kid from the new Ghostbusters. I don't know. Don't quote me, but... Okay. So. Anywho. Um, so that's the synopsis for it. A little bit of trivia, just for fun. Um, while talking to Lewis about how she lost her magic and family, Florence Zimmerman's bare arm is shown and a tattoo is visible, oh, implying that she was in a concentration camp. Well, I wish I would have read that to myself before I read it aloud on here. That's just sad. Um, yeah, she kind of have a, has a backstory about her kiddos and her family and stuff, and so you have to kind of put pieces together to finish out what happened, so there you go, I suppose. That's so sad. Okay, um... <coughs> I don't want to rate it. It's trying to get me to rate things. I don't want to rate IMBD. I just want to look at it. You know? I never just do that. Okay. <laughs> so, um, let's see. Mm. Okay. I guess. This is Eli Roth's first film not to be rated R. I don't know. He went from R to PG. It's quite a jump. Um... This isn't very exciting, is it? <laughs> okay, um, in the scene where the bus pulls into town, there's a sign for Kripe Groker, named after Eric Kripe, after a writer, I don't know, like a writer put a little Easter egg of his name, I guess, into it. So the bus pulls into town, it's the grocery store. <clears throat> okay, I don't know what that means, let y'all know. Um, let's see, for the pumpkin attack scene, why not, 
All of the pumpkin's gore had to be digitally recolored to a much brighter orange as it looked too much like blood. So it had to look orange and pumpkin-esque. That's one of the coolest scenes in the whole movie just because, you know, I'm kind of a Halloween buff. Didn't know if you knew that. If you're new, hello, how are you? If you've been around, then you know this. But there's jack-o'-lanterns all around and I'm just like, oh, I could have my house like that all year. Be happy. <laughs> Uh, Jack Black says the first and final lines in this movie. You know, Jack Black always has to have the last word, am I right? Just kidding, I don't know him. I'm sure he's cool. He seems really cool. <laughs> um, let's see. <clears throat> um, I don't know. It includes several overused stock sound effects that are sometimes used as jokes, breaking a breaking pot, a creaky gate, and Frank Walker's crack, cat growl, etc. I don't know. Those aren't very exciting at all. Golly, y'all. You just let me read those? Ugh, I'm so sorry. Okay. Jeez. Um, <clears throat> let's see how couple of goofs. Let's see if there's something fun before we do this. Before I, even, I haven't even seen the blanket yet. This is all just me reading junk off the internet. Um, okay, some of the goofs. In the movie, Florence Kate Blanchett uses the phrase 24-7. It's a saying that didn't come into use until the mid-1980s. I guess probably for convenience stores, but I... Okay. Um... Florence tells Lewis that the Brothers Grimm wrote their fairy tales in the Black Forest of Germany. In reality, they wrote tales in Kassel, Castle? That's butchering it, I'm so sorry. Which was full a full day's journey from the Black Forest with the travel options of 1808. <coughs> mm -hmm. Some of these are just kind of silly. Um, both, ooh, I like this one because it drives me crazy. I say it sometimes on here and it makes me, okay. Both Lewis and his mother use the word anyways. This incorrect distorted punctuation of the word anyway did not become widely popular until recent decades. <laughs> so that's factually incorrect that they're using, they're adding an S to the word because yes, it's anyway and pretty odd, like, Often I'll catch myself one here like, so anyways, and it's just like, ah, is that what it is? And I'm correct my grammar in my own thing whenever I watch back, so yeah. But anyway, okay. So yeah, house with, or the house with a clock in its walls. Um, it's an awesome movie. Like I said, I mean, I, we've watched it several times. Here is the daily for it the whatchamacallit for it. So, anywho, okay. So, in that, I guess I probably could show you what I got the idea from, because that's gonna kinda be silly. Um, so, in this movie, I'm trying to figure out how to, I've mentioned to y'all, I am not tech savvy in the slightest bit. You may think that I am because I can hit upload on my phone. It's really not that impressive. <laughs> it's, it's really not. Um, okay, so in the movie, there is a chair that is like, it's alive, as alive as a chair can be. You know, it's an, an, an inanimate object. It's very Pee Wee's Playhouse. Um, it kind of runs around and does its own thing and whatever. And so on the back of chair is a crochet blanket. So we were watching this and I was just like, um, hey, I can make that. <laughs> it's just a giant granny square. I can do that. I can do that, you know? So, that's what I did. So this is our very first watch and stitch inspired, like I said, names welcome. If anyone has anything super cute ring to it, I don't know. This is our very first one. <laughs> so, 
I love how it turned out. I think it's so fun. I never ever would have put these together, but it reminds me of a sunflower. And so therefore, it makes me happy. So, if you can see, it's slightly different on here, the color, um, than what it looked like on the phone. I'm just gonna say it. I just messed that all up. Um, but anyway, so it's like a little bit of a lighter green than what I use, but that's okay. So. I could tell that it started with the green, and I counted that there were three rows, and then there's a row of yellow. <sighs> I can't do this. Okay, there's a row of yellow, and then two of brown. I really don't want to drop my Kindle, that would make me really sad. Okay, a row of yellow, and then two of brown, and then a row of yellow, and then two of green, and then a row of yellow, and then two, you know, there's like, it's, a, it's like a pattern, you know? Okay, so that's what I did. I just looked at the picture and counted. And this is what the chair on the movie has on the back of it. So I have this one, <laughs> very first one of this series, and I am loving it. I think it turned out so pretty. So obviously it's folded on the back of the chair, whatever. But um, I just made it like really good, really good lapkin size, um, which will be perfect. <clears throat> just something kind of we have I've mentioned this before but it's been a little bit underneath our like TV and stuff in the living room we have a basket it's a cute basket but we have a basket that has our blankets and things in it so that way they're right there but you know like in the morning it's usually in the morning like you know in theory it'd be cool if like at night they were all put up but usually our phone's exhausted so in the morning <laughs> that's where they go <laughs> is back underneath the TV to be put away and so this one's going to go in there because I've already had kiddos wanting to use this one because of what it is so this is it though and I just this was a lot of fun just kind of looking at the picture and trying to figure out like okay what what is this how many I kept having to do that. I took like three or four different photos and kept having to go back like, okay, how many square, like how many rows, how many of this? So, the middle is, um, a yarn. <laughs> My mind completely went blank. It is, um, y'all, Big Twist Forest Green. Hey girl, figured it out. Big Twist Forest Green. This is Premier Just Yarn, the dollar what was Dollar Tree. Whenever I purchased it, it was Dollar Tree. Um, but I think it's soft gold. And then this is also the Premier Just Yarn. No, that's not right. This is the mainstay in the color brown, I think. I'm pretty sure. It's been a little bit since I've made this. I just haven't made the video, so hey. But <clears throat> this is it. So. Like I said, I love it. I never would have, never ever would I have made this by any means, but even just like that, I think it's fun, and you could do so many different cool but color variations to use that. I don't know. I just I thought it was cool how it kind of does the pattern, but sliding away. So anyway, <clears throat> yeah. So that's my very first um, adventure, I guess, into watching Stitch inspired. Um, like I said, I have several different movies and TV shows and things. Um, like I said, once you kind of start watching for crochet items, they become a lot more apparent, I guess. Um, there are a lot more in shows like that than you would think. So, um, I have a pretty long list um, of pretty fun things. I'm pretty excited to do, so yes. Um, so thank you guys for watching that, if that's all you wanted to watch. I just really quickly want to share something with you guys. Um, some of you may not at all, like not even remotely be interested. That's totally cool. No pressure. No pressure channel. If we've met, you know this. I never am like, like, subscribe, share, comment. You all have to do any of those things. Not at all. Like whenever I get on here and show you my stitching ain't easy shirts and stuff that's usually just to be like check it out i got a new shirt it says my channel name that's crazy right and then i've had so many i mean i have cried a couple times just it's so surreal that you guys have ordered shirts 
and ordered hoodies and ordered gift tote thingies and ordered mugs and ordered stuff with my name on it. Like that is insane to me. So I want you guys to know I'm gonna cry. Like I'm gonna try not to, but seriously that is like just um it's so cool. Um so very, very cool to me. And so I um I don't even know. So I kind of I want to share this with you guys, but at the same time, I don't, I'm telling you, this much pressure is required, please, no, nothing is ever, ever required of any of you, I mean, that's the Teespring thing, that's Happy Mail, that's watching these videos, you don't have to, if you don't want to listen to me ramble, understand completely, just click off, I totally, totally, totally get it not a problem at all um i get it because <laughs> sometimes i do that and i just ramble and i just talk and i just usually about a whole lot of nothing i have a lot of you that enjoy me rambling and so thank you for that because it's nice to you know talk to someone sometimes or not you talk to someone i mean you know what i mean like just to be like hey how are you okay so anywho um i started a new endeavor this has helped me, um, this meaning YouTube and my beautiful friends who have helped me on Teespring. Um, thank you. <laughs> I'm serious. I was like, <laughs> it's so crazy surreal to me that I'm like, hey, you got a shirt. And you guys are like, oh, that's cool. I'm gonna go check out that shirt. Like, even that you guys go look is. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm just little old me talking to myself in the bedroom. I even closed my door so that like my family can't hear me. That's how much it's just me in here. <laughs> like, and so the fact that I get on here and talk and you guys are like interacting and I'm making friends and you guys are so supportive is something else. So I started a new endeavor. Um, I don't know. I mean, I know why, but just kind of bit the bullet and was like, all right, I'm going to do it. Um, so I started, um, well, like I said, a new endeavor. <laughs> I'm just excited about the whole thing. So I started selling pure romance. If you're familiar with pure romance, hey girl, how you doing? If not, um, okay. So it's all sorts of things, um, like from bath and body all the way to, they have health and vitamin type things. They have a deal that's a pure 21. That's like a weight loss deal. The thing that really drew me in, I'm going to be honest, is a vitamin that they have that's called brain boost and it helps brain fog. <laughs> so that's what really made me like, yeah, okay, I think I want to do this, um, but also, not only that, they have all kinds of, like, bath goodies, smell goodies, all of those things, which I'm all about, like, if you guys like lotion, if you guys like anything and all like that, once again, if y'all aren't into this, you don't have to watch any of this at all, it's so cool, I understand completely, trust me, um, but I just kind of quickly wanted to show you, like, a few things that they have, so... Um, I will, <sighs> I'm getting all of my things in the next couple of days and I will come back and kind of show you guys some of the different things in person right now. I just have my Kindle, um, but I will link my website down below. Like I said, please, this much pressure to even click on that thing at all. Um, but yeah, I will leave that down below just in case anyone finds anything that they're into. Um, it's really cool because you can order from the website, like from my part of the whole thing. 
um, it will get shipped directly to you discreetly. No one will even know what's in the box if you order something other than bath and body related things or something for everyone, okay? But it'll get shipped directly to you and that's kind of cool, I think. Um, please remember, zero pressure, okay? But so they have like bath and body oil which I feel like is nice. Like if you get out of the shower, you can just kind of, you know, moisturize and stuff. Um, make you feel real good. Um, <clears throat> they have shower gel and bubble bath. It's a combination. And so you can use both of those. Or not both of those, it's just one thing. <laughs> but you can use it for two different, you know, purposes. Another thing that really drew me in so that's their kind of, um, the Pure Romance brand. Then also they have the Healy brand, which stands for Healthy Living. And these are all like very natural ingredients, which if y'all are at all like me, and have any sort of allergy, you're in. Most of these, they're like paraben free, gluten free, soy free, all the bad stuff free. They're like good. There's jojoba oil, avocado oil, and some, um, but like just really good things. Like, okay, let's click on the Healy shower gel and bubble bath. Um, so it says, shower your skin with cleansing botanicals of Healy shower gel and bubble bath. This get clean essential is pH balance, which is very, very important, ladies. Um, and is infused with lavender and marigold extracts, botanicals known to calm the skin and help reduce redness. This plant-inspired two-in-one is also rejuvenating, is also made with rejuvenating green tea extract, a natural antioxidant, as well as aloe vera and an anti-inflammatory rich vitamin A and vitamin C. So that's really cool. Um, it has marigold flower extract and lavender to help reduce redness and swelling, leave your skin feeling soothing and calm. Um, green tea leaf, which is for your rich in antioxidants. There are, I mean, okay, so the Healy Bath line is paraben free, gluten free, fragrant, fragrance free, sugar free. That's amazing. Like I said, I was in just for that because of all of my allergy issues, all of my stuff. I mentioned on here before that I have to be really careful even with the paraben-free shampoo that I use for my hair. I have found, save for my hair shampoo before, that I can't use because I'm allergic to it. It'll break my face out, like, I mean, bright red, swell, like, hurt, not good. So I was so excited about this and it's all just like natural good things, <laughs> nothing crazy, I'm, I mean, I don't even know, like I said, I will link this link, obviously, <laughs> below, but you guys can check that out. There also is, um, let's see, yes, this one, oh, so cool, so this is the Healy Be Kind Unwind. It's a roll-on gel, so it's like essential oil, but you can roll it on, you know, like your wrists or your ears, your, any of like your sensory, like your main zones, you know, like your, that help you. So it says keep your cool, um, with this essential oil, uh, to help soothe and help balance emotions. Clary sage and fennel seed extract support you during hormonal ups and downs, while lavender, chamomile, and carrot seed give you feelings of peace and tranquility. So it puts any, it's like a cooling effect also, which is really cool. So yeah, you just roll that on if you're having like a minute and just the smells kind of help. I know that some people probably like, you know, may not dig the essential oil thing. I can say that I find a huge difference. Well, just like this. I that's my burner or my not a burner it's not whatever but that's my diffuser that i use i love essential oils and i think that they help i have some for muscle things and stuff and i can use those and they help a whole lot um they also have a rollerball called hello libido 
just in case anyone needed to know that. Okay, um, so help with that. There's one called Rise and Grind. That's just like a good in the morning, wake you up kind of type thing. Um, and then I wanted to show you guys some of the vitamins and then we're going to move on because I don't want to go too far into, you know, the whole thing. I don't want to say again. I don't want to pressure everybody. I am just so stoked about this whole thing. I'm really, I'm more excited about the vitamins and the whole brain boost thing and all that more than anything else. Um, just because <clears throat> if you guys know me at all, you know that I have lots of we'll say issues just to save time and yeah um okay so yeah they have digestive enzymes which is really cool pure start dietary supplement a multivitamin this is their pure i'm just on here i will go back to the brain thing in just a second this is your pure pure wellness challenge um there's a vanilla and a chocolate but you get everything that you need to refresh Refresh, revive, and rebalance your body with the Pure 21 Challenge Kit. You will receive everything you need to complete the challenge. Um, so yes, take the first steps towards a healthier you today. It is lactose-free and it is a whey protein isolate powder, the delicious vanilla or chocolate flavor. Okay, let's go right here to search. Everything's cool. My internet is not liking me right now. Okay. I'm telling you guys. Tech savvy, I am a oh, not. Alright. Okay. Brain Health Boost. Also by Healy. Like so, which means healthy living, which I, you know. You can name anything, anything, but if you look at the ingredients in this stuff, I'm so excited. Like Derek and I are both <laughs> so excited to use this one. Oh my gosh. So I'm not trying to like, whatever, anything, I just need y'all to know how pumped we are. So this is it. The Healy Brain Boost. And it says, <clears throat> okay. Sharpen your smarts and get everywhere you want to go in and out of, well, says the bedroom because that's kind of, it's kind of part of what this whole thing is, but it's not just that. So I feel like that's a thing. If you guys need anything in that area, there are those things too. Just saying, but all right. Um, it says with our brain health boost, this carefully for formulated wellness supplement. Let's start that one over. This carefully formulated wellness supplement <laughs> creates feelings of focus and mental clarity. Sign me up. So you're in tune with the moment. This is beneficial ingredients are ginkgo biloba, which is awesome. Known for help in circulation, memory function, and focus. Yi theanine and bacopa. Monieri <laughs> extract are known to promote, promote feelings of relaxation. So it says give it about a week to build up, like you know, a tolerance in your body, obviously, because you know, you don't just take one thing and then all of a sudden you're like, oh, yes, I'm better. So, about a week in, and you're supposed to have a whole different thing, it's supposed to build up your in your body, obviously, and continue daily to feel the difference. Um, says a better headspace means feeling better. Um, it is made to support four indicators of optimal brain power, focus, mental clarity, memory, and calm. Like who doesn't need that? Carefully formulated with, I mentioned that, that stuff. Um, free of artificial flavors. Y'all, this is so important to people with allergies. I have an issue with almost all of these things. So free of artificial flavors, dairy, sugar, soy, and caffeine. Produced in a facility that also produces, that processes nuts and things. Um, 
But yeah, so you just take that and improve your brain, you know? That's a good deal. So anyway, okay, so like I said, I don't want to pressure anyone into anything. That is not why I'm here. It's simply because I just got all of this fun stuff and I'm so very excited. Another really cool thing is the, um, they have like massage deals. Um, Mm -hmm. they have like different massage things they have um a heart-shaped massager that actually warms up and they like say that it's a whole lot like having a hot stone massage so you can you know put those on and put them on you warm or turn the massager on whatever you want to do but just I mean, relaxation is an amazing thing. You know how it is. If we feel better, everything else feels better. Um, and this is another one too that I thought was really cool. It's like I said, their Dream On is what it's called, and it's just a s circle, a sphere, <laughs> um, and it has seven vibrating speeds and pulsing patterns, ease and muscle aches, and just I mean that's amazing so it's just round it's nothing fancy but yeah they have that one like i said they have the heart like massage but they're they warm and i just i feel like that would be so good like on your neck or if you have fibro or mus muscle issues or anything at all like that just like heaven sent that and a little bit of the oils and just good things so um yeah so i just wanted you guys to know that, that that's my new excitement um i you said I won't be like, you know, whatever about it. It's still, this is very much a crochet channel. I just wanted you guys to know that that's going to be like a thing. <laughs> and it's an option if y'all are into anything at all like that. Um, they have such a variety of stuff though. Like I said, they have bubble bath. They have like bath bomb type things. They have a CBD bath bomb also, or like a bath salt type situation. Bath soak, that's what the word is, Ashley. Anyway, but yeah, they have just different things that if you have, and that's really the main reason that I wanted to do it. Like, yes, they have other things. If you get on the website, you'll see them. It's a fun time. But the main reason I really was into this whole thing was the health side of it because I have felt pretty rough, as a lot of you know. Um, I know that a lot of you feel pretty rough. And so we have that in common and we've talked about that before. I've emailed with several of you. We've talked in the comments before about just crochet is our outlet. That's our happy place because when we feel real yucky, there's always yarn, right? And so, you know, um, to help you maybe not, fingers crossed, everyone's different. Maybe help you not feel as yucky you can look on there and see if there are a few things that maybe can help you. I truly think that the little heart heat things, that sounds just like heaven to me, honestly, just to like leave them on there. At least I put some oils on and just like some relaxing things and um, yeah, I don't know. I'm excited, but no pressure channel. I just want, <laughs> I'm just tired of all of us feeling yucky to be quite real about it. And this is what I've I'm doing. I told you guys the other day that I've started drinking the smoothies because I can kind of keep those down. I was to a point where I couldn't really keep anything down. I've started drinking the smoothies and I'm working on it, y'all, every now and then. And um, I've also been taking six different vitamins a day. And so, um, but not really anything like that, like for brain fog anything that, I mean, I'm still just kind of, and so I'm really hoping that these things will help along with just some of the other things. They have like facial wash and, you know, all of those things too. They have things that help firm, like, you know, your skin, you know, it's like a facelift in a bottle, I guess. I don't know, but anyway, so yeah, I just think that if, like a little pampering goes a long way. That's what I'm trying to say, I suppose. So Anyway, that was a big, huge deal. I didn't really mean to make it that big of a deal. I'm just so excited about this whole thing. So yeah, um, so I will link that down below if y'all are interested once again. No pressure channel. 
we're here for a blanket. So, okay. So this is what I made. <laughs> Side note, coming back, this is what I did. Um, I have, like I said, I've mentioned this a couple times now, several different deals that I wanted to make. And, um, I may start on the robe next. I was going to start on something from another movie that I grew up watching that I've always loved. We even had a dog at one point that was named after one of the characters in the movie. That's how much we like it. But I think that I'm gonna have to make that robe because it's cool. So, alright. So, I thank you guys so very much. Especially if you watched to this point because you just listened to a whole little extra ramble that has nothing at all to do with my normal crochet, crinkle alert, yarny shenanigans that goes on here. It's something completely, completely different, but at the same time, I'm very excited about this new little endeavor, I guess. So don't worry, do not fret. I still will be putting out yarny goodness on the regular because that's my happy spot, you know, family, school, YouTube. The priority situ well. God, family, shul, YouTube. That's like my list. Um, so that's definitely gonna be my thing, but I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you guys have any questions at all at all, please feel free to email me all lowercase stitching ain't easy forty two at gmail dot com. Um any questions at all about any of the products, anything at all that's like whatever. Once again, if you guys order from there, it's discreet to your house. No one has to know. That's kind of fun too. So, all right. Anyway, so I think you guys are listening to me ramble because you always do and I appreciate it every time. So I hope you all have a wonderfully, wonderfully blessed day. I hope that you guys are all feeling well today and having a good day and that you're just like sunshine and lollipops today and everything's good. Thank you guys. Please, please stay safe and I will talk to you all soon.